You're Keemstar's pet. You're his dog. <laughs> when he whistles, you come. When he says jump, you say, sir, I can't. I'm crippled. Come on. Dude. By the way, can I say this? Out of all the retro games, Pac-Man's the worst game. Let's be fucking... Maybe we real here? Ash? Uh, I, I don't know. Stinks. Uh, I liked Pac-Man. Pac-Man. By the way, Keemstar didn't invite us to his fucking barbecue 4th of July weekend. We're an hour away. We could have been there, but... How dare you, Keemstar? You're Keem a Star. piece of shit, Keem. F*** you. I'm mad. Muda went. So here he is. Muda. There's Muda. What's your point in all this? Can you I'm just saying. Why, do, why be a victim? Just be honest about it. Why be a victim? Okay. okay, so you're... Who's this guy? First of all, this guy's scary. This so guy's... nobody, nobody can recognize any of the other people that are at this. Event, I know. By the guy. way, like I know okay. one guy, Chris the Narc. He loves our show, by the way. But watch this. This is what looks to be a toddler. Look at this zoom in. This is so grimy. This okay. is like some real job of the hot stuff. And I know that's <laughs> low hanging fruit, but that's really what this is. No, that's the only. Jeez, from far away, that looks bad. But there he is. Look, you might be a victim. Put the glove on. Be a be a victim. This is so funny. They're all talking shit about Boogie while he's talking to his girl, and then Keem fires up the phone and goes, "Hey, Boogie." Mudahar just called you a victim. Now what? Well, do you know? But do you think this is real or yeah. is this fake shit? Well, Muda, like, I think, is actually sickened by Boogie. He's trying to be as nice as possible because they're in public and he's not trying to be, like start a fight. But he doesn't want to be involved with Boogie at all. This is what I think happened. And I think Keemstar instigated it. Like, Mudahar didn't want this to happen. He's like, dude, put the phone down. Sure. Boogie, why be a victim? Like, why be a victim? No, no, just tell the camera. You He's like, just tell the people that like, you're what did he say? So he does this, like, whole, like, um, self-deprecating bullshit. Oh, stupidity, oh, stupidity. He always does this where he puts himself down and plays the victim and does this manipulation. It's such bullshit. Yeah. Everybody's sick of this shit. Yeah, yeah. Just care. say this. Just say, yeah, I'm an asshole. I don't care. That's it. About your audience. That's it. That's uh, no, I, I wanted money, and I also wanted people to not to attack me. So I played the victim like a dipshit, knowing it never works. Oh, so Covert narcissist piece of shit. So wait, wait, wait. Is this, so this kid is behind just the like camera? Where he's like talk. I think it is. And I think this blurs Chris the narc. Oh, it's so, so, don't hear what it so is. embarrassing. Like Buggy Spring. I'm a covert narcissist. <laughs> We've heard it all before. No. It's all so that tiresome. Fair? Just die, Boogie. Die, Boogie. Die. This is not Chris. Uh, sorry, this Why is not dumb. Why you die, Boogie? That's that kid behind the camera. I mean, it's like his brother or something. But look at Boogie here. Oh! By the way, what's up with that grandma ass haircut? I don't know, man. It's like, like a fucking eight-year-old grandma. Like, the thing is, he could actually put effort in, you know, like he could like there's shirts that come in his size. Like I know. Like I know that they do. Like you could put on a nice shirt. You could fucking style your hair. You know, you could get a haircut. You could fucking take a shower. You could fucking shave, you know? Like, it doesn't have to be this way, man. <laughs> it just doesn't have to be this way. Just because you're fat doesn't give you, like, well, I guess I'll just give up and be a total fucking slob bum. Like, bro, come on. You're 50 years old. Figure it out. Dude, what is the shirt he's wearing? It's fucking embarrassing. Well, see, it's like... Mother. I refer to my covert narcissism ways. I tried not to. I did a Caleb Hammer interview today. No, pause. That's so wait, funny. Wait, wait. It's like she's had to do this before. Bring it yeah, back. she kisses she forehead. She kisses on the head and then just walks away. Narcissism ways. I tried it's, not it's to. It's like, oh, honey's having another one of his temper tantrums where he spurts out. I think it's like a regular wait. occurrence. Bring on Caleb Hammer. Yeah, Caleb Hammer did Again? an interview with Boogie. Yeah, I have it, actually. Um, How long is it? It's 20 minutes long. I honestly, I was listening to it, and I'm like, it's kind of a rerun of the CoffeeZilla confrontation. Oh, about that. And that's the, the, the whole crypto scam, like, Medicare nailed it. Medicare's you know? 
fucking stream. He, he, he uh, crushed that, and there's no point retreading it. I did a Caleb Hammer interview today, and I told everybody to go fuck themselves because it was funny. And I'll tell this man here right here, go f yourself. It like, Medica f***ed Boogie, by the way. Oh, yeah. Like, it was not, it was a good f***ing stream. I really liked it. And I told everybody to go f*** themselves because it was funny. And I'll tell this man I'll here I'll say right this about Keem's deck. Very strong wood. Yes. Oh yeah. This to support the, that. This to support is, those guys. Like, to, like that's the sort of craftsmanship that only a millionaire can afford. <laughs> you know? Right here, go f yourself. It was funny. Nobody Ooh. with a brain. Yeah. Nobody with a brain. Yeah. By the way, like, Muda, Muda doesn't even have to say anything. By the way, he does. Boogie's well, just completely self felting in a sad spiral. Yeah, and that's just Boogie's entire life. But everybody's sick of it. Everybody's sick of him playing the victim and crying all the time. It's enough. It's enough, Boogie. Just go die. Like, we beg of you. Just go get Canadian health care. We know you were trying to cross the border without a passport to get it. It was a noble effort, but you failed. And you need to try again until you get the Canadian health care you need. Yo, f*** you, Muda. It was funny I scammed my audience. Muda's had enough of this guy's but shit. I like imagine being Muda and having to like you like make it to Kim's and you're like Boogie's here. Fuck. Like it literally was like yo, don't be a victim. Proceeds to be a victim for the. By the way, they're drinking Prime. It doesn't look like a very fun party to be at. Next nah, like, like this mean, party that like, everybody has wanted. like Prime and like snack size bags of Cheetos. That is like, what Kim would have though. Yeah. You know, Kim, oh, Prime, you know, I'm a happy punch guy. <laughs> Where's the victim? Where's the victim? I'm telling you, I've had an interview. This, this, this guy can barely time. walk. Like, he can barely walk. He's is like he a wearing full pajama pants? He is, man. And he's wearing Crocs. When you're oh a grown, when you're a grown ass man in your 50s wearing Crocs, you've given up on your life. Buddy. You really have. Look at this. By the way, whose phone is this? It's destroyed. <laughs> it smells broke. Money, it. Where's the scam? I told you not to buy it. The scam would be to tell you, you buy hey, no, I know, no, I know a scam. He promoted when did I move? Muda, Muda should have just grabbed a full but, can but, of but beer Ray, and threw Ray, it at his head. But Raid Shadow Legends is a game. No, no, no. But, like but, but this is this is crazy. Muda fucking tables him here. Listen to this. But I don't understand. Like Boogie, honestly, like I hate to say, it, all he has to real, <laughs> all he really has to say is, "Yeah, I scammed them." Yeah. Fuck and, them. and this, you know, the and this happens every day. They're idiots. They're suckers. Fuck them. Just like, be the vi just be the villain. You're like Andrew. Take you know, their ass. You know. It's it's like you know just let's just be that guy, but he just won't fully commit to that bit of being that guy. Yeah, and he just still has to play the victim, so it just fucking sucks, and you just hate him more yeah. than if he was just an evil like Gordon Gecko, like capitalist vulture scamming the poor and shit. Like, I honestly like I have more respect for like predators than this shit. This is parasitism. It's pathetic. F him. He's trying to exude this confident, like, yeah, I'm gonna face this. No, but it's not. but it's but it's like it's annoying. It's fucking gay, and it's also like you're still being a victim, and you're trying to like play it off as a joke, but it's not funny. So you're more of a fucking loser. Now watch this. Watch this. So he goes, "Well, you, you." Promoted Raid Shadow Legends. Watch what Muda does here. This is a table slam. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, never mind. No, I don't. You just said that I promoted Raid, right? Yeah. What? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Yeah, I know what you probably like. Muda's like, and this is I the thing is like talk? Boogie's just hollering over him, trying to like bully him, and it's bullshit. Yeah, Boogie's the ultimate cry bully. Like he's crying out that he's the victim. And then hollering over him so he can't make his point. Muda is it's very seeding. pathetic. And you know this is how Boogie handles every confrontation in his life. 
Like he immediately <laughs> starts with the, the self-deprecating <laughs> bullshit and uh, trying to like bag off because he doesn't want to handle the confrontation. Then when he's caught out and there's no escape, he starts fucking hollering, 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 trying to overpower the person. Then when he finally are allowed to talk and he keeps getting felted, then he just bags off and starts crying again like a bitch. This is the most manipulative and pathetic tactics possible. Yeah. It's just nobody likes this stuff. Muda stayed pretty. Like, he's trying. He's like, could I watch this? Probably Hold on. Have Hold you? On. Wait, you let him respond. And Keem's like, shut the f*** up, Boogie. Shut the f*** up. I'm watch I'm this. fixing the holler. This will change the entire argument. Watch this. As you said I promoted yeah. Raid. Uh, now, out of all the thousands of videos, find any Raid Shadow Legends promotion. I don't watch your it's content like anymore. Seconds. I watched it in five years. Oh. Oh. Boogie. Boogie's trying so hard to Muda be sassy. Muda gets like millions of views a month. You it's get so sad. nothing. Boogie, like, we watched you 15 years ago, pal. Yeah, no one watched Like, he was movie. relevant, like, when was he last? Like 2012? I don't watch your videos. Yet yeah, no one watches yours, Boogie. Watch this. Popular videos is how I rejected a bag from Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, that's awesome. He's crushed. And crushed. it's true. It's true. One of his most popular videos is him like felting Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah. Look at how red Boogie turned. Yeah. Dummy. Like the whole Pac-Man shirt. It's so cringe. This is a 50-year-old man wearing a ironic retro Pac-Man shirt. Come on, dude. By the way, can I say this? Out of all the retro games, Pac-Man's the worst game. Let's be fucking... Can we be real here, Ash? Uh, I, I don't know. It stinks. Uh, I liked Pac-Man. Pac-Man. <laughs> So that's awesome. <laughs> just kidding. I like facts, but I'm just, I'm just trying to be contrarian. <laughs> we'll just double down on it. <laughs> now you back off. Yeah, no, it's just funny watching Chad get so mad. Like, <laughs> Chad's like, what the L, 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 L. No, I like that. It's pretty fun. I didn't know that about What it. is the, re the worst retro game you think? Like out of all the old what, school that's ones. actually like beloved but, or like yeah in like general. out of all the all the main ones like an overrated buying space invaders I'm not a big it's sort of just like I don't gets, really like space it gets invaders boring either. so fast have the, you seen remember I think we went to fucking Dave yeah, and Buster's Dave, and they have the the new space invaders we played just, that it fucking sucks it was have the you guys, worst have you guys played this the new space invaders it's brutal. It is shit. People are saying asteroids. Um, I liked Donkey Kong, the first one. I actually like that game. It is a little it's bit annoying. Brutal but though. It's it tough. is. It is a brutal game. Yeah. 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 Like, like this is what's crazy. I like Frogger. I won't lie. E.T. is the worst game ever made. Yes. He blatantly it's lies, and then when you catch the him lie? in the lie, he thought like, you did. I'm sorry. He, you, no, 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 no. Everyone was mistakes. here. Everyone was here. Right? Yeah, he all said mistakes. I promoted it, and then I said I did, and he's like, "Holy fuck!" Wait, like. Boogie's trying to backtrack. It's like it's on film. Wait, you see him in Boogie's crushed, like in his eyes. There, he knows it's over. Look at him. He knows it's over. Buddy, Muda just destroyed you. Sit down, I thought Boogie. You... Like, <laughs> 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 I used to take yeah, the world in the I thought it was round. Uh, what? It's so dumb. Just. Why won't you die, Boogie? Okay, okay, but you used it as an argument, and he felt it was just you. a complete non sequitur, just well, nonsense babble from his mouth. Well, I just learned about oh, you doing you, that. Like, well, will you laugh and, and forgive me? That's what he's trying to do. It's so uh, embarrassing. It stinks. There's someone else here. There's more people at the party. Yeah. The camera, okay? <laughs> Give me well, you're a narcissist. You are the world. You're obviously round. Burial. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't answer why we weren't invited. I would love to fight Boogie here in the backyard. What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Boogie's so angry there, too. Man. He's just seething with rage. Just Imagine. boiling. Imagine we're invited and we just start a battle with Boogie. We just start beating the him. 
fucking piss. It wouldn't be very hard. I mean, he would just turtle. Like, the moment you hit him, he would just fall over and turtle like a little bitch and then cry for mercy. Like, seriously, he would. <laughs> Hey, at the end of the day, I know you. Oh, there's PJ Overt. We met him in um, London. He was really nice to us. Really? He was really nice to me and you. Okay. He I was, don't remember. I don't remember. He, he like like I I didn't even know who he was. He was just like, Yo, what up, bro? I'm like, Whoa, who the fuck is this guy? He's cool. I know you. Yeah, very nice guy. I got no bad. I'm not shaking your hand. He's not gonna shake your hand. Ooh. Stand him up, buddy. Stand him up. This man. This rules. Uh, so embarrassing for Boogie. By the way, you notice the weed tray there? Whoa. Whoa. Stone roller. Stone roller. Stone roller. Star there with illicit substances. <laughs> Is it illegal in Buffalo? Yeah, uh, I think it's legal in New York, the state, but of course, federally, it's still illegal in America. But oh, who cares? Uh, no, there's no weed on it though. It's clean. It's an empty tray. Uh huh. Yeah. They that well. That's how you know that this is all bullshit and staged. <laughs> they they sanitize the weed tray. Yeah. But okay. But watch this. Watch this. Now Boogie sort of wants to like be like look good for the camera and wants to shake Muda's hand, but Muda knows. If my hand touches Boogie's hand, it's over for me. Watch what Muda does. It's so based. I just got engaged. Come on, man. Put it, I'll shake his put hand. Put it aside for the end of the night. Put it inside. For he goes, Keem just got engaged. I'll shake his hand. Uh, he's like, shake my hand. He's like, why would I shake your hand if Keem's engaged? Bro, I don't care. Ooh! I Crush. <laughs> Jump across the table, but take a seat. I, I, I found a new seat. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Oh. I found a new seat. This is good. Oh. Yeah, it's next to him, right next to him. I found a new seat. Muda is in hell. <laughs> hey, Muda is in hell. Going to have to hang out with fucking Buggy. It's so. Oh. He just ruins the vibe for the whole party. Are you uncomfortable? Aren't you? We're at a party together, right? Whoa. Look at this. Look at look at Muda's face here, Ash. Look, look. Are you uncomfortable? Are you sure? He he was he stared daggers through him. Bring it back. <laughs> Did you see that frame? He's like, get yeah. off. Oh. oh. He does hate him. He yeah, he does him. not like him. Sure? Honestly, Muda should have just stood up and knocked him out. Part of the yeah. Have fun. You think they would have called the cops? We're I fucking fun. doubt it. We're having fun. Make this about bullshit? I'm making about bullshit. I'm here to have fun. I've been having fun for three days. Muda's like, I'm just sitting on a fucking chair. You're the one coming up to me. He had to beg your ass to come. I'm his fucking friend. I flew across the goddamn country. Of course, Keem had to beg yeah. Muda to come. It's Muda hard. You know, like, like Boogie, you're Keemstar's pet. You're his dog. <laughs> when he whistles, you come. When he says jump, you say, sir, I can't. I'm crippled. You know, that's your life, Boogie. Keem owns your ass. You're bought and sold like a slave. Yeah. Because you just couldn't figure it out. You had to have Daddy Keem figure it out for you. And that's embarrassing, bro. You're like 10 years older than Keem, as ancient as Keem is. And you have to talk to him like he's your daddy. Well, he like is. your owner. He is. He owns your house. He owns your <laughs> ass. You have nothing without Keem. It's low cow live or bust for you now, bitch. Sad. Pathetic. <laughs> I'm fun for three days. He had to beg. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. This is crazy. You're asked to come? You know, I'm his you know, friend. I flew across the goddamn like, country to get here. So look at Buddha's face. He goes, what? You flew or you drove? Did you fly or did you drive? We all saw the tweet. Boogie. I drove. And then he has to go, yeah, I drove. Oh, oh you lied again. Oh. Like, Boogie's ah, incapable ah, of the truth. Ah, look at his face and here. He knows. He knows. Caught again. Look at that hair. <laughs> no, he's just a punch. He's like trying to touch Muda. Oh. Guys, we're gonna leave it right there. Happy Fourth of July. 
Thank you, Keem, for that, Keno. Um, wow. Boogie. But, but yeah, imagine being Boogie and your boss just humiliates yeah. you and then posts but that's, it. But that's his life every day. The only reason he's around is to be humiliated and degraded and made into a punching bag and a fool. It's the only value he has. He can't produce anything entertaining on his own. He's a bum. And he always will be. And hopefully soon he draws his last breath and we never have to talk about him again.